Good day and welcome to the demonstration of the 4555C. The machine that we're looking at today prints at 45 pages per minute in full color and 45 pages per minute in black and white. Now to have a look at the true quality of this machine, let's quickly make a copy. So I'm going to take the document, put it into our 100 sheet document feeder, and then press the start button. Now, the eStudio 4555C has a first copy out time in full color of 8.5 seconds. So that's very quick off the mark and brilliant color quality. Now, let's look at the next feature that I want to show you on this machine, and that's called magazine sorting. Now, magazine sorting means that you're going to take a set of documents and turn it into a booklet. Now, usually to take a set of documents like so and turn it into a booklet, you'd have to put page one and four together, page three and two together, and then make your copies. But with the Toshiba, all you need to do is put the document into the document feeder. Now, this is an RADF, so it's a reverse automatic document feeder, meaning that it has double-sided scanning, and the machine also comes standard with a duplex unit for double-sided printing. Now, all you need to do is, because we have a hard drive on this machine, 360 gig hard drive, you can now save templates to the memory of the machine. I've saved a template called Magazine Sort that would make a magazine for me, or a booklet for me. All I need to do is select Templates, Demo 1, and Magazine Sort. Now, automatically the machine is going to make a booklet for me, in order, with page numbers at the bottom. Let's have a look at that. There we go. Now, what was once four A4 sheets of paper is now a single sheet of paper. That means that you've saved 75% on your paper costs. Now, quickly, let's have a look at how you would make this into a booklet. All you need to do is fold it in half. And also, in one press of a button, I've now made a booklet. Brilliant, isn't it? Now, let's quickly go through to another function on the machine, and this is called omit blank page. How often does it happen to us that we get a set of documents that is single-sided and bla with blank page in the document? So now, we don't need the blank pages. If you do want the blank pages to remain in the document, this is an option that you can choose to put on or keep off. So with me, I want to put this on. I want to remove the blank pages and make this document double-sided to save paper, save time, and save the environment, which is the most important part. So I put my document into my 100-sheet document feeder. I then select templates again, because I've saved another template, demo, and omit blank page. Now, automatically, the machine is going to do all the work for me. Now, on the screen of the machine, the machine will tell us that it scanned six pages and omitted two. Seven pages and omitted two. So, there we go. Now, what was once a seven-sheet document is now two sheets double-sided. So, we have saved a lot on our paper costs, we've saved on our time, and we've got brilliant quality copy. Now let's move on to the last of the copy features. And the last feature that I want to show you on copying is called outside edge erase. This happens to us on a daily basis where you have a document that is either too small to put into the document feeder or too large. And what happens is sunlight then gets through and you can't close the platen cover. Now by using outside edge erase, you can literally take a document like this business card place it onto the platen screen. All you would then do is press edit, go down once, and select outside edge erase, press OK, and press start. Now, usually, if you just left a cover open and made a copy, it would be a black page with your image in the center. But because of the outside edge erase function, what it will do is remove the black edge and only give you 
what your document has or the information that your document has on it. This would have been a plain black page with our document, but now all we have is just the information. Saving us a lot on our toner, saving the environment. Now Toshiba is very big on saving the environment, so let's look at the rest of the features on the machine that's gonna help us in saving the environment, saving money, and most importantly, saving us some time. Now the next feature we're going to be looking at is our scanning features. Now there are two parts to the scanning features, the first of which is scanning to our memory stick. There it is right here. Now, in order to scan to your memory stick, you would take your memory stick and plug it into the side of the machine. You then take your document, put it onto the document feeder, select scan, scan to USB, and there's a special feature that you can use when scanning using a Toshiba machine, especially when you're scanning a full color document. And that feature is called Slim PDF, which is a compression file that would take what is a full color page and reduce the size so you keep the quality but your file size is very small. Now let's quickly scan, slim PDF, okay, and preview and scan. Now the preview uh, feature is also very special and only on the Toshiba machines where it will give you a full color preview on our 9.5 inch full color touch screen. Now this touch screen you can then go into zoom into 100% and check your entire document, making sure that the quality is good and you haven't left out any information. You then press OK and it's automatically saved to your memory stick. The next feature in our scanning is called scan to e-filing. Because of the 360 gig hard drive on this machine, we can now scan a document to the memory of the machine. Now, in the memory of the machine, it has 200 different boxes. Each box can hold 100 documents. And because we have password protection on all of these boxes, we've created an additional box. And that's called your public box that is not password protected. This is for any member of staff to walk up to the machine, go into the public box, and retrieve documents. Documents such as job cards, such as your leave forms, um, banking details, things that people would need every day that they would usually ask their manager or supervisor to print out can be saved in this box so that every person has access to it. Now I've saved a document to the e-filing box and I've called it leave form because it's a document that we could use every day and now all you do is press print to get that document or retrieve that document. Let's have a quick look at what happens. There we go, printed directly from the memory of the machine. The last feature that we're going to be looking at on the 4555C is our printing features. Now, with the machine, you will get two cassette drawers, 550 sheets in each cassette. These cassettes are universal, so they can take between A3, A4, and A5 paper. Now, also, this is a special feature. You can do a maximum paper grammage on the drawers of 156 grams. But we also have, in addition to that, the 100 sheet stack feed bypass. Now, with the bypass tray, you can now print onto your A3 sheets of paper, onto universal sheets of paper, because it's not something that you keep in your drawers. For now, I have sent a few documents using a feature called private print to the memory of the machine and I'm going to retrieve now an A3 document and print it out for you. All you need to do is select print, private print would come up first, select showroom, well the computer that I'm printing from is showroom, your computer name would come up on the screen and all you would do is select the name and put in the password. So I press OK and then I need to put in my password which is 1234. I select the document that I want to print, press print. Now when you're printing to a document or a paper type that is not in the drawers of the machine, your job status button will flash. So all you do is you press the job status button and on the blue line at the top it will tell you exactly what to do. This tells me change the paper type or put the paper into the uh, bypass tray. So I put my paper into my bypass tray now. 
A3 gloss paper and this paper is 270 gram paper. Now all you would then need to do is tell the machine I've put in thick 4 that's 270 gram paper and press the start button. And that is a brilliant quality gloss print using the 4555C. Now a special feature on the 4555C is called banner printing. I've also sent a banner print to the machine. This is your banner print paper. It is 1.2 meters long by 3 or 5 millimeters thick. When you're printing a banner, all you would do is, let's quickly get the print from our print menu, showroom again, Okay, password one, two, three, four. Okay, select the document that I want to print and press print. Now, when putting this into the document feature, quickly get the size right. Now, we press the job status button because again, you can't fit this into the drawers. You then select thick 3 because I'm printing on 250 gram paper now. Again, gloss and start button. Let's quickly go on to the other side. And that is a brilliant quality print on gloss paper, on banner paper, on the 4555C. For any more information on the 4555C, please give us a call and we'll be able to help. Thank you very much.